I'm here with the dream team from UIW. Several Cardinals athletes joining me today to talk about the community as well as the crisis in today's world, our pandemic. Everybody is struggling right now and it's a time where we need people to step up more than ever. And these three individuals as well as the rest of UIW Athletics have gone above and beyond the last several months. I have Marissa Waters joining me, Tatum Raleigh, and Warren Fulgenzi. First, let's talk about what the Cardinals in the Community Service Program has done the last several years. Marissa, you're the president of UIW SAC. Talk a little bit about the impact you guys have been able to make in the San Antonio community with your Cardinals in the Community program. Right, so one of the core values here at UIW that all of us treasure is the fact that we want to make a lasting impact through community service. It's something that we feel dearly because it not only affects us and makes us grow, um, but additionally, it helps our community. So when coming up with these projects, uh, specifically with the MLK initiative, we wanted to ensure that we are making a lasting impact in the community, but it also inspiring the next generation of leaders. So we worked with MLK Academy and uh, we adopted two classrooms, which had around 50 kids into it. And we worked on developing relationships with them, talking about college success. And we also gave them donations with pull out UIW gear so they know that we are rooting for them just like uh, they're rooting for us. Um, just promoting college success or just making kids realize that um, at a young age that college is an option for everybody no matter where you come from. It was just a really cool way to just connect with the kids and I'll never forget like there at the end like the kids were just like please come back and we want you to come back and um, so actually here, um, we were supposed to already go back to them and revisit them, but unfortunately our circumstances now don't let us do that. Especially in this circumstance, we're able to create workout videos for elementary school students as long as reading time with Red. And this is, you know, just, this gives us an opportunity to uh, make the impact in their lives even with this uh, COVID-19 going on. We're also doing fundraisers for the San Antonio Food Bank to address the food, and food insecurity issue going on with San Antonio right now. And we just began an initiative to create postcards to send to veterans, the elderly children, as well as people who are um, critical health care workers as well. So they know that we still, y'all still have our support no matter what, even though we can't be there right now with y'all. It's so important for our community and people across the country to see people go out of their way, whether it is through online workout programs or, or cards. How important is it for your community service family at UIW to fight the roadblocks when it comes to helping others in the middle of this pandemic? It's important to us because our community has accepted us as you know, as athletics, as a college students and everything like that. So to be able to give back to them and show them that we, you know, we're not just playing the game of, you know, sports, tennis, uh, swimming, we care about our community. So being able to give back and help inspire others is such a, such a great feeling, not just for us, but for them as well. The motto that keeps going around is we're all in this together and we're gonna get through it together. And I think that's super important. So no matter where the UIW athletes are dispersed, you know, at the end of the day, we're all still connected and wherever we're at, you know, we can make an impact. How important is it to be a source of light, not just for those kids, not just for your teammates, but for the community as a whole? It's just a bump in the road right now. And like you said, it's, it's, a, it's a dark place. But to be able to show everyone that we're, we care, we don't just care about ourselves, but we care for others, which is just strengthen that bond between our community, our teammates, our, our faculty, that will just strengthen that bond. So once we do overcome this obstacle, our bond with each other will be that much more greater. Despite the school year ending, it's, it's a full on train and we don't stop going. Like Marissa said, it doesn't stop here in two weeks when school's over. I mean, this carries over um, for, and through the summer and, and until then, and we're still um, coming up with new possibilities to serve our community. Like going back home, wherever we may be, you know, it, it has encouraged me to just keep on with that community service because I know making someone's day makes me happy. Seeing someone smile makes me smile, you know? So that little motto, you know, encourages all of us to just keep moving forward, keep doing what we're doing, no matter if it's the school year or the summertime. And, hope, and that will carry on to, to our everyday life.